as a writer, as a fiction writer, it was the perfect archetype. I mean, it was, mm. The villain was clear. <laughs> I mean, you just need a twirly mustache and a railroad track. I mean, I mean, you're the Secretary of State declaring yourself the victor of an election you oversaw, and you surprisingly won. Okay. And I was the first African-American woman to ever have the opportunity, and I came this close. I mean, it's a great narrative if you like tragedies. Um, <laughs> and for me, the response to, to sorrow, the response to anger is action. Uh, I, I was raised to... <laughs> I was raised to believe that you don't simply identify problems. You have to figure out how you intend to solve them. And that sometimes solving the problem doesn't mean you actually win. So the solution to this challenge does not mean I get to be governor. If we fix all of the election laws in Georgia, nothing will undo the decision made on November 6, 2018. But fair fight action is my responsibility because it says that this should not happen to anyone else. That the election that's happening, there's, a, a, there's gonna be an election in March in Gwinnett County, which is the most diverse county in Georgia, to determine whether they get access to public transit. I mean, it's 2019 and we're having a a fight over whether people should be able to get public transit. My responsibility through Fair Fight is to lift up that responsibility and to talk about why that vote matters and to make sure it's a fair fight. Uh, And so what we're doing is three things. One is that we we filed a mammoth lawsuit, 64-page complaint, that, as I said, yokes together all of those pieces of voter suppression and says that as a system in the state of Georgia, the right to vote has been substantially harmed and that disenfranchisement is occurring at a level that violates the 14th and 15th Amendments, the Voting Rights Act, HAVA, and the Georgia Constitution, and it's just wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, The second is that we are pushing for better legislation uh, because we know that litigation may not turn out the way we want it to. We're also pushing for better legislation. Uh, Luckily, there's an organization that's been created actually by members of the House of Representatives and the Senate in Georgia called the Voting Rights Caucus, and they're going to be pushing for better laws around absentee ballots, but also to stop us from having hackable machines, because that was also an issue with the Secretary of State. Uh, He oversaw some of the oldest and most incompetent machines in the country and refused Homeland Security support to ensure that the the right to vote wasn't compromised. Mm. And then the third is advocacy. We have to continue to tie the vote to the issues, because voting by itself is, okay, fine, we'll vote. But when people understand that if you want access to health care, you have to vote. If you believe criminal justice reform is real and true, you have to vote. If you want people to pick up your trash every week and not every two weeks, you have to vote. And so part of Fair Fight's responsibility is to connect the dots between the public policy outcomes that are either impugned by or made real by voting. Hmm.